Heavy rain and downpours mean summertime is a busy time for Chicago area roofing companies. There's been a lot of hail, wind, and uh, even some tornadoes around the area. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a very busy time for all of us. Kevin Filato heads the Residential Roofing Committee for the Chicago Roofing Contractors Association. Wind does more damage because it can actually remove the shingles from your roof, which would then leave it susceptible for water to get in. Hail will affect um, the shingle itself and will cause di dimples and blow off the granules from it. Uh, nothing that would necessarily cause a leak. So how do you know when your roof has actually been damaged following a storm? Some companies are on your doorstep quicker than the rain can fall to tell you your roof needs repairs. Most do wait for the calls to come in, but there are some that do, do yeah, work throughout the neighborhood and door-to-door -door -door selling. It was just like Halloween. Uh, my doorbell just kept ringing and ringing and the mailbox was filled with uh, pamphlets. That's what happened to Steve Burnus after a big storm rolled through the Chicago suburbs near his home. Burnus is also the president of the Chicago Better Business Bureau. Unfortunately, with storms, people just tend to go with whoever knocks at their door because everybody else is booked up. Like good doctors, Burnus says a lot of good roofers are usually booked up for the summer with regular repairs, which is why you may be out of luck when Mother Nature comes calling. He also says roofing scams consistently rank in the top 13 on the BBB's list of the most common scams. Uh, we had recently, I think it was over $20,000. You know, they're still trying to get back. Unfortunately, some Chicago area consumers have lost more than that. According to Cook County Circuit Court records, 58-year-old Charles Bellavia requested a Northbrook man pay him more than $23,000 before starting repair work on his roof last summer. The documents also state Bellavia said he needed the money up front so that he could buy building materials to complete the job and that Bellavia didn't return to the man's home once he got the money. After Northbrook police arrested him late last year, prosecutors charged Bellavia with theft and home repair fraud. His case is ongoing. So what can you do if you can't schedule the roofing company you want? One thing is to contact your insurance company first and foremost. I think a lot of consumers don't realize that your insurance company has covered damages on your roofing and they may help you provide some you know, suggested contract. They can't force you to go with somebody, but they can provide suggested contractors. If you can't get through to one of them, Berna says watch out for these red flags when contacting a company on your own. Not offering a written contract, not having a business card with a phone number, and not being able to find a company online. If you do find them, a recent survey of Chicago area roofers by Consumers Checkbook says don't get caught up on the post of reviews or the pricing. I think a lot of people would say, oh, well, you know, I don't want to go with a low price company because it's going to do bad work. But that's not true. Uh, we found that the companies that quoted high prices for our three homes were just as likely to have high ratings from their consumers as low ratings, that there is no price quality relationship. You also want to ask who will be doing the actual work on your roof. A lot of roofers now use a sub crew for their labor. Um, so a lot of roofers actually don't have a license themselves, but then their crew that actually installs it does. But before you even pick up the phone to call a roofing company, the BBB says check out the company and the Chicago Roofing Contractors Association says look out your window. You see trees and debris flying throughout the yard. There's chances that that might hit the roof and could cause damage. You might see granules from the shingles released down and, and come out on the ground or even pieces of the shingles itself.